so now we are given this 900 newton um, and it is making 65 degrees uh, angle with the xy plane so this is the xy plane or we can say that it is making 65 degree with the ground if we consider this right angle triangle which is standing on the floor this right angle triangle is standing on the on the floor and here we have that 90 degree angle so we can resolve this 900 newton force into its two rectangular components so we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this so as we know that the angle is made with fh so it will be the cos component of this 900 newton force so we can say that fh is so we can say that fh will be 900 newton cos of the angle so cos of 65 degrees so 380.36 newton f of y is 900 sine of 65 degrees then we are given that this line along which fh is acting is making 20 degree with the z-axis we can further resolve this fh into two rectangular components so from the top we will be able to see the x and z-axis and we will have that line along which fh is acting so this line is making uh, 20 degrees now fh is acting along this line now we can resolve this fh into two components so we will have one component like this one component like this and one component like this so let me represent so this component is parallel to the z-axis so we will write that this is f of z and we can say that this is parallel to the x-axis so this is f of x now as we can see we can we can show those components here so we will have this f z and we will have one component like this now this component this component is in the negative axis the angle is made with fz so now fz is the cos component of fh so we can say that fz is fh cos of 20 degrees similarly the f of x is f of x is now the sine component in this right angle triangle so we can say that f of x is uh, fh sine of 20 degrees or we can say that fh is 900 cos of 65 degrees sine of 20 degrees so fz is 357.42 newtons and similarly fx is 130.09 so 130.09 newton this is fx this is fy and this is fz